We're here in Breckenridge, Colorado with our friends from Toyota, where we're going to get some winter driving tips from a professional driver, Shane Donnelly. Shane, what do you recommend drivers do if they hit a patch of black ice? Black ice is a little bit of a tricky one. The main thing you want to do is not do anything abrupt. You want to just kind of maybe turn a little bit in the direction you want to go. Most importantly, keep your eyes looking where you want to go. And then wait until you're back on some pavement with some traction. And then at that point, you do the same thing that you would do to correct for a regular skid, which is turn into it, look where you want to go. What about braking? If you hit a patch of black ice and you're afraid you're going to hit something, do you slam on the brakes? Actually, that goes right back to the don't do anything abrupt. You want to press the brake pedal really gently, really lightly. See what the traction is like as you're applying it. If you feel it go right to sliding again, get off that brake and use that uh, the tire's ability to be able to do the steering. The funny thing with ABS is that it does naturally what you, ha you would have had to do before. So if you have a car with ABS, just applying the brakes, same thing, you don't want to slam on it. Apply the brakes, the ABS will stop the wheel and let it continue to roll and then stop it. And that's going to allow you to do your steering. If for some reason your car doesn't have ABS, you're going to want to use that exact same technique. And that is gently press the brake until you feel the front wheel lock up. The way you can tell the front wheel's locking up is the steering wheel will get kind of a numb feeling. It'll start to slide. The second that it starts to lock up or that tire isn't turning, you Gently release the brake pedal and then start pressing back down again to try and find that maximum traction level. Can you talk to me a little bit about four-wheel drives during venture driving? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The four-wheel drive, it just means that it's turning all four wheels all the time. There's also all-wheel drive systems and those usually just turn two wheels and once they start to get some slippage, then they can go into an all-wheel drive. If you're going to be in the snow or anything slippery, uh, you're going to be playing around off the edge of the road, I definitely recommend uh, putting it in a four-wheel drive. 